Okay, so we just uh, went through the tutorial on how to define variables and use basic equations, and we're going to redo that same sheet. But the focus that we're going to put it on this time is trying to integrate units into our calculations and see how that powerful tool really comes uh, out in MathCAD, and wh which really differentiates it from a lot of other tools that you might choose to use, like, uh, say, a spreadsheet. So again, we're going to start with defining the uh, diameter of our circle and so d colon again or definition uh, and again we're going to make it equal to 100 but in this case we're going to define the units and to do that I'm going to press mm for millimeters and you see when I click out of that box they turn blue which indicates to MathCAD that it recognizes it as a unit it understands the unit and it recognizes it and so now let's see how we get different results. So remember from the last time we started by calculating what the radius was, which of course is our diameter divided by two. So D slash two, hit the equal sign. And you see it offers it up and it always offers it up in base units uh, if it can find a base units. In that case, it's meters. But if I wanted to do millimeters, I'll just add another M and I can go to millimeters. If I wanted to stay in meters, of course, I could do that and just leave it in meters and it'll move back and forth. Now, you're not restricted just to the system of units that you're working in. For example, if I wanted to know what that answer was in inches, I type in IN and it will do the conversion between millimeters and inches and offer it up in whatever unit system that you want that it understands. So I'm going to go back to millimeters. And again, we went, we calculated the circumference. So circumference is equal to 2 times pi times the radius equals. And again, because it recognizes this as a linear distance based on the formula that you put in, it's going to offer it up in meters or we'll change it to millimeters and we'll get a value in millimeters. Now, when we go to area, Area is equal to uh, pi r squared, so the caret squared, and set that to equal to. And so it recognizes now, because of the r being raised to the power of 2, that our units are also squared. And so it offers it up in meters squared, and we'll change that to millimeters squared so that we're staying consistent. And finally, uh, just to show where this becomes really useful when you're doing complicated calculations is I'm going to try to add a plus r and you see it won't do it. Remember last time it did that and it came up with a, a number but the number was really meaningless uh, because you're trying to add a linear distance to an area and they're incompatible. Because the units are now defined, MathCAD is smart enough to recognize that those are incompatible units and won't let you make the addition. So let's get rid of that. And we'll just scroll down. We still have our cylinder and just a little bit more practice here. Oh, so outside, diameter, and we said it was 50 millimeters. Remember, we get the green box now because we've redefined it. And so it just lets us know. So in case we're doing something that we're not expecting. And now H will also be in millimeters. So H is equal to 100 millimeters. Remember, I'm using that colon button. I'll tend to, after I've set it for a while, I'll tend to just start doing it. And again, we can do our radius is equal to D divided by two. And again, it recognizes it as meters, but let's say we want all of our results, even though our input is in millimeters, let's get all of our output in US customary units or, imper or um, imperial units. And so now we'll do our area is equal to pi times radius all squared. And that's equal to, and you see we get meters squared, but we can do that in inches squared. So we'll just change that out. And finally, we come down here and we want to know what the volume is. And A times our H equals, and it offers it up in liters of all things, uh, but we could do it in millimeters 
cubed, or we could do it in meters cubed. Uh, so just to be aware, so now we can change the formatting of that number. We go up to math formatting, and you see we're not getting a, a significant value. So instead of doing decimal, let's do engineering notation because it's to the minus six times 10 to the minus six. So it's a really small number when it comes to meters cubed. And so that's why it wasn't showing up. It was showing up as a zero. Uh, and of course we can do inches cubed and we get 11.982. So that's uh, doing pretty well. And so now we start to see some of the real power of units. I mean, when you get into complicated uh, equations, Making sure that your units work out often is a first check to making sure that you've done the equations correctly. And uh, cancelling out your units is always a great practice. So here we have MathCAD doing it for us and giving us a caution if we've done it wrong. So I strongly encourage you to use units as we go on to other uh, tutorials. We'll almost always be using units and integrating them into our spreadsheet just to get used to it. And uh, I can't imagine doing, other than a straight up using it as a calculator, I can't imagine doing a worksheet without units uh, integrated. So uh, thanks for coming out for that one. Uh, we'll be coming back up with uh, the next uh, skill. Uh,